Imagine setting your AI security rules once and having them perfectly apply to every single one of your models every time. That's the beauty of Model Armor templates. It makes managing security across multiple AI deployments way easier and less error prone. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how easy it is to create one of these templates right inside the Google Cloud Console. All right, so here we are in the Google Cloud Console. We need to go to the Security Command Center and there are a bunch of ways to get there, but I'm just gonna to go to the menu and then security and then model armor. And this is where you'll manage your model armor configurations. And I'm gonna click on create template. First things first, let's give our template a meaningful name. Let's call it strict customer data policy and choose an appropriate region. Under detections, you'll see different options to enable. Malicious URL detection, prompt injection and jailbreak detection, and finally, sensitive data protection. Remember, these settings have to align to the floor settings that have been set. So I'm gonna enable malicious URL detection and prompt injection and jailbreak detection with a medium and above confidence level and then sensitive data protection. Now, sensitive data protection, sometimes referred to as data loss prevention or DLP, is where you tell Model Armor how to find and handle sensitive information. Here, there are two options, basic and advanced. Basic allows you to screen for a fixed set of data types, whereas advanced allows you to work with a much larger set of data types. Also, with basic, you don't have the ability to de-identify the data. Model Armor will just flag the response. With Advanced, however, you're able to choose how the response will modify or de-identify the sensitive data without blocking it entirely. When using the Advanced setting, you typically work with two concepts, Inspect and De-Identify. Your Inspect template configuration is where you tell Model Armor what kind of sensitive data to look for. Google Cloud provides many built-in detectors for common types like credit card numbers, email addresses, passport numbers, and so on. You can usually select which ones you want to include, and you can even create custom detectors for needs specific to your business. So we're telling Model Armor, hey, if you see anything that looks like these types of sensitive data in a prompt or response, flag it. Next, the de-identify template configuration tells Model Armor what to do when it finds that sensitive data you just told it to look for. This is where you choose how to protect it. Do we want to mask numbers with an X, redact the data completely, tokenize it, or something else from the list? And again, this is only an advanced option. For our credit card example, we choose masking, and let's just mask all characters. Now you can set up different de-identification methods for different types of sensitive data if you need to, but often a single approach like masking works well for many types. So in this template, We've linked our inspect template, find credit cards, emails, social security numbers, with our de-identify template, mask them with X's. Now, I just need to go through the responsible AI section and change my confidence levels to match the floor settings, which for me is low and above for all. Once you're happy with all your settings, you can simply click create. And if you did create a template that has less sensitive confidence thresholds or fewer features enabled than the floor settings, then you will get an error and will have to change the template settings to be as sensitive or more sensitive than the floor settings. And just like that, you've created a model armor template. But creating the template is only step one. The next step is to apply this template when you're configuring model armor for your specific AI deployment. Next up, we're gonna test this template to see if it's actually working properly. Stay tuned.